Researchers at Purdue are studying sea creatures and the way they stick to each other to create a new glue. Yeah, science is amazing, right? And this could eventually have an impact on the medical treatment people receive. It may be if there's uh, some wound that has to be sewn back together instead of sewing, it'd be glued in this very specific way. Uh, Emily Kinzer is looking at this this morning. It's just very interesting. It is very interesting. Science is cool, right? They've been working on these adhesives for a while now, and in some of their tests, the adhesives that they've created have proven to be stronger than some of those commercial products that are already on the market. When you go to the beach, you never see a mussel or a barnacle or an oyster just on a rock alone. When you think of glue, they always cluster in these communities. You probably don't think of sea creatures. There are these threads, and then each of those threads is tipped with what we call an adhesive plaque. That adhesive plaque is what keeps them together and safe. There's one animal here, there's another animal here. Purdue researchers are taking knowledge from the sea. I would see all these sea creatures sticking to themselves to the rocks and sticking to each other, and I thought it was pretty cool. Professor Jonathan Wilker used to spend a lot of time scuba diving. What he's found may be the glue of the future. We're taking technology and information and ideas from the animals, the sea creatures that do this, they stick in water every day, and we're trying to develop new materials. We've created a protein-based material, and what we've done is we've made a material that's flexible and stretchy, but also has some adhesive portions to it. They're working to make a glue that can work in and out of the water. So when you put it in water, it'll stay in the place you put it at. It's a constant process of trial and error to see which bond works best. And then if we try to bond things together underwater, uh, under some circumstances, we can actually get adhesion stronger than any commercial product we've been able to get our hands on and actually test in the lab. Researchers working on this have made both natural and th synthetic adhesives. They put their synthetic materials side by side with the muscles and tested them. And actually, the synthetic materials proved to be stronger. Now, there's other practical uses for this. Um, and for this glue, that's not just for medical um, wood, metals, plastic, bonding those all together. And cosmetically, like gluing on fake eyelashes mm -hmm. and fake nails. Amazing. This is so cool. Thank you so much. 637.